So it's very rare that you get inside revelations. In this past weekend, I had the privilege and the honor to be a guest in our nation's capital in Washington, D.C. And I got to experience all sides. And I'm going to try to get through this small revelation without tears, but I'm not going to promise that there's no tears. And I don't want you to mistake my tears for pain. It is realization. My trip started out in Georgetown for dinner as I arrived in the city. And even though I was sitting in the most prominent part of D.C., the one thing that I felt more than anything else, even though a few of you all caught my video and someone said, you seem so excited that it's funny because people who don't really know me immediately see what I want them to see. And yes, I was excited. I am an explorer. I'm an adventurer. I am curious. But I was scared. I was fear gripped the majority of the weekend. And if you don't know me, you would have never realized it on the outside. I ate at some of the fanciest, nicest restaurants. I saw some of the most deplorable, heartbreaking things. But above all else, the one thing that I felt more than anything this weekend was fear. That in the midst of being able to slightly enjoy some freedoms, was this going to be the moment that I might be in the middle of that one or six individuals or two even that have to make a point? And their point is a useless point. And I go back to Georgetown because I'm sitting in the most prominent area on a street that should have all street parking. But we're sitting at tables where people once could park. And everywhere you look, it's just busy and there's noise. And it's hard to just focus on one thing. But then out of nowhere, here comes that one thing that you have to focus on because this might be that one thing that puts your life in jeopardy. A car full of radicals. And at that moment, it didn't matter if I was white or black. Compliance was the name of the game. Is this how the juice felt? Is this how my white friends feel? Is this how my black friends feel? Then the next day I had the pleasure of walking through the city. And I saw businesses destroyed. But then I saw people's homes. And when I say homes, I mean tents. Rows upon rows of tents and tarps. Destroyed from the wind damage of all the rains and winds that we've had from all of these storms. And the one thing that resounded louder than anything that entire weekend was fear. So if I, as an ethnic woman, feel this way, how do you think other people feel with these radical groups? that are pushing agendas, that if you're not throwing your fist up with them, then you must be against them. Or why couldn't they just take the other perspective that maybe we just are remaining neutral. We're observing, which is allowed, but some of these groups won't allow observation. This is not how life should be. At least I don't feel it should. And every day I watch on Facebook as people continue to tear each other apart.
that don't even know each other, that haven't even taken the time to share an actual real space with the person that you're calling a name. And that saddens me. You know why? Because if you have to resort to name calling first, it usually means you probably aren't operating with full information. But it kills me that 2020 has become the year of acceptability to half-ass. Half-ass learn, half-ass know, half-ass speak, half-ass post, half-ass put the world in fear. I don't know what side you stand on, but I know that it is time that we stop as people. I don't care what country you live in. As people, fear needs to stop being what is gripping and controlling us. You know, I sat there in Georgetown and watched all of these people. And just two blocks away are people starving. Everybody wants to know, what is Illuminate Shadows? Well, I'm... I and the team of people that I am choosing to surround myself with that keep coming into my arena. Some of them I've known for a while. Some of them have become new to me. But the timing of our relationships and partnerships growing is of the essence. And Illuminate Shadows is a foundation that will start helping many things. But the first thing that is on the agenda is human trafficking. And my team and I are working these next few hours to find those right organizations that we are about to partner with to funnel funds and resources to as they come through us. Homeless will be on our list. Veterans will be on our list. People, any group that needs us as time goes on and we build this will be on our list. But I know that I cannot and I will not keep living like this. My question is, will you? It's time for the fear to stop. <laughs>